Hey guys, me and Poke Girl, I'm joined by... Cowie the Adventurer 246, or Cowie you want to keep it short, and we are back again playing... Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, uh, we finally found the cave. Yep, and it was right by us the entire time. It was honestly embarrassingly uh, simple to find, considering it was on the rooftop of the building uh, where we uh, encountered Silva. Um, I don't know why I didn't see the big old pipes right there. Or something. So just, I just had the ability oblivious right then. Well, I'm just gonna blame it on tunnel vision. Yeah. Thankfully, we gained the ability keen eye to find it eventually. But yeah. Mm. Um. So yeah. Last time we were basically raiding. Um. <clears throat> we were raiding. Um. Mr. Afro's. Um. Mirror B. And yeah, Mirror B. I just call him Mr. Afro because... I mean, like, have you seen the size of his hair? Oh yeah, definitely. Who what? Who it is? Yeah. How are we supposed to get across here, if at all? But yeah, we're basically... Now, I'm pretty sure this is the way to the final fight, but... Can... I mean, like, it was pretty obvious considering that there was a, um, considering that there was a heal station and all that there, but, yeah. Mm. Hang on, guys. Mm. <sighs> I need to adjust it back because... Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Resuming in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry for the interruption. I looked at the camera and noticed that the resolution, that it just didn't look right on the image. So, I originally tried toning it down because I know some parts seem too bright, but now, uh, but then I realized now you can't really see it here, and then I. So, turn it back up. Is it too bright for you, Callie? Mmm. Looks fine to me. That's good. Uh. <laughs> Let's see, this is the entrance. Now, we were. Trying to find all the traitors in this area and beat them all to gain EXP, correct? Uh-huh. We're basically grinding against the bad guys here. Um... Seems like a logical path to take. Yep. And honestly, any Pokemon game I, I play, I do this kind of tactic because, um... Usually, once you fight the big boss, all the other bad guys disappear afterwards. And that... What? Intruder. An intruder? Hmm? Huh? Did you say there was an intruder? I don't know. Oh. Why? I thought that I heard you say that after that noise. Huh? Oh, that's just my stepfather's phone ringing. Oh. Apparently it's pretty loud. Oh, sweet! Ultra Balls! Yep. That's gonna make capturing so much easier. And it'll kind of make up for the great balls I wasted. Mm, true, true. You know, speed of Ultra Balls, I remembered. I have a Master Ball, but I have yet to use it. I don't even think I've gotten the Master Ball yet. Mm, nah, master, you typically get the Master Ball at the near, the near end of the game. Yeah. Oh, storyline of the game. I've only, like, just beaten, um, Acerola, I believe her name is, uh, the ghost type. 
Uh, trial leader. I've only Ghost got type fight. Go so. Yeah. So you just completed the third island, or are you on your way to beating it? Well, I know I just did the one at the abandoned the, at the abandoned trial site, like abandoned uh department store trial site is what I meant. Yeah, and seriously, that Mimikyu is a little weird. Yeah, creepy, in my opinion. Yeah, no. honestly, the first time I attempted that trial, I actually kind of gave up how was like, before right before the end. But that's only because I saw Acerola, and I was like, boy, isn't she still outside? What's she doing here? Mm. You want me to stand Uh-uh. Nah. Dukin's finished! It's the dawning of Mirror Beast time! Right. Done. Yeah. It was bot. Okay. But, yeah. I actually quit halfway Oh, girl! Wipe, his, wipe the floor with him. Uh, of course. Anyways, I only quit halfway through the trial the first time because I wanted to like double check and see if Acerola was still outside or not. And she was, and I was like, okay, then what's going on here? Because I'm like, I was confused, barely even started to describe how I was feeling about that whole ordeal. And then I remembered, kind of, that, oh wait. I have played Moon, so I know that this must not be the real Acerola. Cause that confused me a lot in Moon as well. Yeah. And again, Pokemon, ghost type Pokemon have a tendency to be tricky mm -hmm. tricksters. Just for scare, just for frights. What's the difference between um, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon again? Because so far, the only difference... Now, I have Moon, but I also have Ultra Sun. And the only difference well, is, is like there are content. a couple of differences. For starters, when you begin the game, you start out at night. And the uh, legendary Pokemon in the moon is a Luna. Uh, <laughs> you know, when... Lunala, I think it was, or... Yeah, when Nebby, Nebby's final evolution. Yeah, I know, I've, I have completed moon before, so I know the diff and I know the difference between sun and moon. Um, but I'm just wondering what, like... Uh, sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, where the difference between those duo games are. Also, I'm pretty sure that Rock Ruff's Evolution is depending on which game you caught him in. He's in. I thought Rock Ruff's Evolution was gender based. Oh no, it's based on the time. Lycan Rock Midnight Form is at night, and his. And his midday form is in is in the morning. Depending on when he what time he evolves, that's that's when he that's the, t the t time the type. But apparently, there's also the dust type, the dust form. But apparently, that's an event. That is an event evolution. Apparently, from what yeah. I read on the Poké events. Nah. I honestly don't know that. I only saw that at this point. The only difference between Ultra Sun and Moon was uh the fact that one has a uh, normal time cycle like day and night cycle and the other was reverse time cycle reverse time Let's cycle go. meaning like daytime in real time is nighttime in game and vice versa well it's pretty much the same thing here in both sun and moon it's just the way you start out the game starts out differently like what time like in a day or a night that's true. But seriously, when I found Mimikyu for the first time, it kind of stopped. It kind of caught me off guard. Same. I mean, I didn't expect it to be right behind me. Yeah, I mean, like, I had played Moon, and I had just gotten done with that trial last night. And I remember. Also, whenever. Yeah, oh, both yeah, guess times, what? And both times I went through it. It spooked me when I, it was right behind me. And honestly, yeah. Acerola, every time he said that, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving. I was like, okay. And the fact that it started off like, who are you? I was like, okay, this is weird. Like, I don't get, honestly, I don't get freaked out by ghost stuff. At all. But 
that was had me weird, but in a it weirded me out, but in a curious way, I guess. If that makes sense. I guess. Mm. Oh, by the way, remember when you complete the trial in Aurora and the and the I can't remember her name. The girl with the ghost type Pokemon about the rat and sharp. Yeah. When she says she felt a sudden chill and walks away, if you look closely near the bushes behind the old fence, you could see Mimikyu walking away. A bit of his, a bit of his body showing. Wait, what? Yeah, the cut. I mean, it was only for, for a, a, a second, but I saw it walking away in the bushes behind a metal fence when the ghost girl walked away. I, I saw it. Oh my god, I, I never noticed that detail. Well, that's because I'm kind of autistic, so people like I can't, like me have a tendency to see things that people don't right away. I tend to be pretty observant for some things too, but I was so focused on Acerola, I didn't even notice the stuff behind her. I've got no, it happened right behind the avatar. I've got to see that cutscene again. You're just gonna be very careful. You're just gonna look carefully. Yep. Anyways, back to the game. Okay? You're okay, you're lying. Is Mr. B's A's really going to arrive? Nope. Not on our watch. <laughs> That's for sure. Any goodies down here? stairs lead to? Back this, down here. Yep, to another side of this. I'm in training here. One day, I'm gonna win at the Coliseum. That chance. Dude, we beat the Coliseum. It's not easy. No, 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 I don't think she means the Dragon Coliseum. I think she means the Mega Coliseum is going to appear at that construction site. Hmm. And we're definitely really going to win it. One thing I like about Sun and Moon, um, and, Ult and Ult Sun and Ultra Moon, is that the establishment of the Elite Four and uh, the uh, um, the and the uh, champion and all that, like the Pokemon League, basically. Um, that happens like during the game, <laughs> and you basically kind of become part of that. Unlike other games where the character who is champion, <laughs> like every time you battle them, they still have the title champion. I like how, like, you end up being champion, you, uh, basically retain the title of champion. Yeah, that's true. It's an interesting thing. Yeah. It honestly is one of those satisfactory, yeah, I definitely beat the game kind of things for me. Yeah. We keep forgetting to get the double battles after recording. Right. Maybe is it this place that's bad for my training? Uh, dude, your mirror, mirror bees underground hideout. Oh, zinc! I suggest you try another place. Awesome. Oh, oh. I suggest you try another place to do training. Protein and tear. I bet this hideout is a red. Hold it. What? 
I said I, I'm gonna call. I said this is gonna be another permanent stat boost, and, and I was right. Hmm. Are you looking for Duke's Pokemon? Could it be beyond here, I wonder? Hmm. The fact that you said that makes me believe that it is. It could be possible she's lying. Who still tell us once you beat her? Tentacool. So, have you heard the talks of possible, like, Gen 4 remakes? No, I did not! Oh. Well, I sometimes watch, like, Pokemon Family Pokemon uh, game trailers, um, and plenty of them talk about Gen 4 possibly being remade soon. Personally, yeah. considering that's the generation that I, hop that I got started in Pokemon, and I'm honestly pretty excited. Hmm. Let's hang on. My dad, my dad's calling. My stepdad's calling me. Do you want me to pause? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we are back. Family interruptions. Uh. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, nothing. I'll never tell you. That's okay. We can find it ourselves. <laughs> Don't you people have any sense of direction? I bet you're having trouble oh, getting around in this cave. Lady, uh, I have gotten to Charlestone Cave and various other caves before. No problemo. I just... That's a peon. I just saw a peon. I don't know. I'm just seeing if there's anything down here. And yep. Oh, now, isn't this something? This is the edge of the world. Good of you to come. Let's see, which one of these is a shadow Pokemon? Pokemon. Yeah, but something tells me that we're gonna encounter one soon. Hmm, possibly. Yeah, for me, I'm, like I mentioned before, I'm not really a, that big of a fan of status moves, or at least not stat adjusting moves, pretty much. Like, if it causes the Pokemon to, like, uh, get a status mission, then maybe. 
Okay, so we don't really see any shadow Pokemon in this battle. Nope. He's using acid again. Waste that for free. There's nothing here for you. While you're all busy wasting time, looking at a Pokemon you have to. Oh no. Maybe we shouldn't waste any more time. Well, I don't think that um the story will progress much. Um, like. Until we like battle uh, Mirror B. Mm, fair enough. Do you want to read lines? Oh, I'm under the order to battle with you here. Orders must be followed. Order Darid. Okay. Very useful move. So what's the one I get? Helping hand, swift, return, fusion.
I was under orders to battle with you. Nobody said anything about not losing. So nobody said anything about not losing, so it's okay. Yeah, the point. I need to score points with Mr. B Mira B so I can get a promotion. You ain't getting one anytime soon, buddy. Nope. Oh? Huh? Oh! My style's so blue! So blue! But it's not enough. to see the, the second evolution of Lotad. Got a job to do. Hmm, somebody tells me we're in the right, going the right direction. We found him. Well, guess we'll go ahead and I guess we'll go ahead and battle Mira B in an 
next episode because we're already at the 30 minute mark. Also, you know the spot with the PC and the uh, uh, healing machine? I'd like to check out the spot north of that a little bit first. So, Very well. Till next time, we'll catch you guys later.